With over 4,200 items that are sold in over 800 bundles, it's no secret how Warzone makes its money. For the last few weeks, I've been on COD Tracker, collecting every single bundle and every item ever sold. Not only do I have an answer, but I also have some interesting findings to share with you. So let's get started. First, we have Modern Warfare. With this game, about half of the bundles are rotated through the store with every update. So that means while you're able to count around 200 bundles in game, there's actually a total of 428 bundles within Modern Warfare. In terms of blueprints for weapons, we have 192 assault rifles, 117 SMGs, 60 shotguns, 67 LMGs, 47 marksman rifles, 37 sniper rifles, 67 melee weapons, and 99 pistols. And then for items, we have 163 operator skins, 63 finishers, 90 quips, 242 charms, 228 stickers, 133 sprays, 70 watches, 4 gestures, 16 vehicle horns, 324 emblems with 200 of them being animated, and then 342 calling cards with 220 of them being animated. If you wanted to own every single item that I just listed out, it would cost you a total of 532,800 COD points. If I wanted to buy all these COD points for the lowest price, I would need to buy the 13,000 COD point pack, which retails at $99.99. I would need to buy 41 of these packs, which totals out to $4,099.59. Lastly, we need to add on $190 for the miscellaneous packs, and that would total us out to $4,290 to buy everything within Modern Warfare. Now with the information I collected, I wanted to see if it was true if more bundles are made for the better weapons in the game. Because people say that the best guns are made the way that they are in order to sell more bundles and make more money. Which does make sense from a business perspective. So I took account of how many times each weapon is included in a bundle and on average, a weapon appears in anywhere from 11 to 18 bundles. A list of the top five weapons would be the M4, the knife, the M19 pistol, the AK-47, and lastly, the Uzi. Let's say I wanted to buy every blueprint for each of these weapons. For the knife, it would take a total of 106,400 COD points. For the M4, I would need 43,000 COD points, plus an extra $45 in promotional bundles. The M19 would cost 32,900 COD points, plus $15 in promotional bundles. The AK-47 would cost 29,300 COD points. And lastly, the Uzi would cost 28,700 COD points. So there is some evidence that correlates with this claim, but it's mostly opinion on this one. I will say that in the Modern Warfare lifecycle, the M4 and the M19 were usually the best picks in their classes. In Warzone, they're still both great weapons, but they never hold a dominance like other weapons do. One last thing to talk about is the fact that they made over 50 different blueprints for just the knife. This decision was most likely inspired by the CSGO skin market, where others can take collectible knives and sell them on this market for hundreds of dollars apiece. We'll see if this belief changes any bit when we go over to Cold War. But just in case you missed it, the total cost to buy everything in Modern Warfare will cost $4,290. And now, here we are at Cold War. I did notice some funny things, but we'll cover that in the next section. But for now, as of Season 6, there are a total of 368 bundles in Cold War. For weapon blueprints, we have 159 assault rifles, 157 SMGs, 44 shotguns, 43 LMGs, 71 tactical rifles, 43 sniper rifles, 7 special weapons, 36 melee weapons, and 36 pistols. And then for the items, we have 214 operator skins, 115 finishers, 0 quips, 285 charms, 217 stickers, 0 sprays, 108 watches, 26 gestures, 20 vehicle horns, 74 reticles, 293 emblems with 147 of them being animated, and then 267 calling cards with 95 of them being animated. And now if you wanted to own everything in Cold War, it would cost you a grand total of 502,900 COD points. And of course, if I wanted to buy these COD points for the lowest price possible, I would need to buy 39 copies of the 13,000 COD point pack, which totals us out to approximately $3,899. Now we add on $325 for the promotional packs that can't be bought with COD points. And we have a grand total of $4,225 to own every single bundle within Black Ops Cold War. And of course, after hearing this number, the question still stands. Do they make more bundles for the better weapons in this game? Let's find out. The top 5 guns for this game are the AK-47, the XM4, the MP5, the Milano, and lastly, the AK-74U. If I wanted to buy every bundle for the AK-47, I would need 47,500 COD points plus $15 in promo bundles. The XM4 would cost 48,000 COD points plus $10 in promo bundles. 
The MP5 will cost 51,500 cow points. The Milano will cost 38,400 cow points. And lastly, the 74U will cost 42,900 cow points plus $20 in promo bundles. Now I will say most of these weapons are very popular in both multiplayer and warzone. However, it's not like Modern Warfare where one gun was an extreme outlier and that gun also happened to be consistently very very good. And it's not like they made several dozen bundles for a single melee weapon. However, there's one thing to keep notice of which I just realized right now. And it's kinda obvious, it's been right in front of our faces the entire time. But I realized the assault rifles and SMGs always have the most bundles available for them. And it makes complete sense because most players are gonna be using either an assault rifle or an SMG. On the off chance they may run an LMG and a sniper rifle, but there's bundles for them. But that's something just to keep in mind. They make the most bundles for assault rifles and SMGs for a good reason. So just in case you missed it, it would cost $4,225 to own every bundle in Black Ops Cold War. And now, here we are at the total cost. Coming in at a little over a million COB points, it would cost a grand total of $8,515 to own every single bundle within Warzone. This is counting every single bundle from Modern Warfare and Black Ops Cold War. Next fall, I'll most likely make an updated video for Vanguard along with other little things that can be purchased. Now let's talk about some interesting patterns that were found while tallying up this total bundle count. Considering the fact that half of Cold War's operators are locked behind a paywall, I think it'll be good to start there first. The most sold operator for Cold War is technically the competitor, as he has 26 different variants that would cost you a total of $130. But if we're talking about an actual character, that would be Port Nova, found in 17 different bundles with a total cost of 25,200 cow points plus $20. The most sold operator in Modern Warfare comes down to a two-way tie between the Milsim and Domino operators, with each of them being found in nine different bundles. To buy all Milsim skins, it would take 11,000 COD points plus an extra $10, and to buy every Domino skin, it would take 14,100 COD points. Another thing that interested me was the amount of bundles that are released per season, because there's actually a science behind this. As you can see in the first season of both games, that's where the most bundles are sold. And after thinking about this for a little while, I came down to two main reasons as to why this is. Naturally, I'd assume that developers and the artists have more time to make more bundles before the game releases. But as a second reason, Activision knows that the player count is the highest during the first month of a COD release. So it makes sense to get the store set up and get the most bundles out while everyone's still playing. And as you can see, as we go on with every season, the bundle count slowly drops. And we get to the point where Cold War only has 20 bundles in Season 6. What's interesting about this season is that while there's only 20 different bundles, they are all very high ticket. Meaning that the average cost for these bundles is 1860 COD points. Which is way above the game's average of only 1470 COD points per bundle. Also, a lesser known fact that I covered in a recent video, after the Cold War integration, all tier skips were removed from Modern Warfare bundles. And after that point, they could only be found in Cold War bundles. So as a little foreshadowing, expect this to happen with Vanguard. Now on a different note, I love tracer packs. So much in fact, that I tracked them all to see how much it would cost to own every single one. In Warzone, there's a total of 60 tracer pack bundles, with 14 in Modern Warfare and 46 in Cold War. And to own all these tracer packs, it would cost you a grand total of 125,900 COD points. Now, depending on how you split your COD point packs, it could cost you up to a total of $1,000 to own every single tracer pack within Warzone. Now, if you have any questions about this video, feel free to leave a question down in the comments, and I'll do my best to answer. And of course, like any YouTuber does, I would highly appreciate it if you checked out my other videos, as I have some interesting ones coming out soon that I don't want you to miss. Anyways, my name is Wetzel, and until next time, peace!